This is just my first experience in the Jeff Exchange or Erasmus really? program, uh -huh. and it's been wonderful. We can discuss in a in a foreign language. Everybody mm -hmm. uh, uh, practicing a foreign language, and uh, mm, from every nation, we uh, we uh, bring uh, other other uh, art, other 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 ideas, and also because you get out of your like comfort zone mm -hmm. and, and it's new people so uh, first the persons and by other part you can also learn always something about the subject every com every meeting of other new people meeting new people always uh, makes like positive changes I, I think I would like to focus my my professional career into this kind of projects mm -hmm. like just connecting a um, multicultural, like uh, different countries, connecting people, act actually young uh, or young people. I think this project is good for the society uh -huh. because the society, I think, starts sleeping. You birth, uh, you study, you get a job, you get a uh, sons and die. Uh -huh. And during your life, you really do something or only you do what Others want you to do something, not a job, not a bored life, not a simple life. You can feel a lot of things. The Kata Empathy would like us to really uh, learn the process of this mm -hmm. type of organization. And it's so good because it's not only just yeah having fun and art stuff and stuff like mm -hmm. that. They are really want us to um, get a deeper knowledge. And in this time, I uh, I learn a lot of about uh, Hungary, about Macedonia, and I don't have any idea about who are Macedonian people. And I like so much learning like uh, basic things of the paintings, uh, basic things about like. Uh, like a street art, okay, in the street mm -hmm. team, so it's interesting. I think they could, couldn't uh, choose a better place than this city because it's not so crowded, the people can't get lost, and, <laughs> but they have everything what they need for our project and for making a performance which they can invite the citizens mm -hmm. because they are friendly and they can join us making the performance and making art. Here everybody just walking slowlier, thinking slowlier, moving slowlier and I think this uh, kind of calm it can have to the art. There are several types of people like artists, um, street artists, there, are, there is, I don't know, a uh, lawyer here, um, people who are living, um, studying so different things and um, we have to make something which is community, which is in community, you know, like um, doing an art product in, in a community. And I think it's very interesting because um, very different perspectives are coming into this project. For example, for me, the organization of this project, I, I like this, and I like the organization the, of Peter and Kota. And for example, uh, talking about our contemporary I, I, I really like it. I think I have learned that everyone is creative. Mm -hmm. Like, we have something inside that when we are kids, we just draw or jump or dance or just flow. And sometimes, somehow, we forget or we follow the straight lines. Mm -hmm. And I have become the, um, closer to the child that I was. So I think that. Um as many people, they were there, just an example, that they were just uh, having a walk, some of them. You normally, you are daily having a really strict routine, you are just going for a while and you see always the same stuff. And mm -hmm. just to see these people doing this kind of stuff or doing something different and join them, maybe it can change. For sure it will change the world, but you can change the, the day of somebody and make, make this person happy and then he will talk to somebody else and for sure they, they will have a good connection and if you can uh, reach, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 people, it will be really nice. And then if you think in a bigger project, maybe you can do something uh, bigger but 
as we did now, I think it's a really good beginning. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I think it's the consequence of putting all the uh, ideas and information and different life and perspective that, that artists or just whatever people have and create. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it doesn't really have a concept because it's just whatever you think or share, it will be community because mm -hmm. you decide it's like a democratic um, opinion so, mm -hmm. or decision. So if you connect it with art, it's just like create something um, between equals, between mm -hmm. like share it together. Because, I mean, graffiti and mural art are similar as the thing we, as community yeah. art because they still we still uh, bring some message to the community with it. I think community arts can really, really have to just work together, live together, and uh, flow together. I think and art is one uh, part of the flow. Meditation and some thinking station station is uh, another part. But I think we can manage to do more of this. It's a create a space to talk about or to take something or to create something, to develop projects and to develop experience and create uh, something more than you. No, no individualism. Uh, for me, the community art, the most important is the community and the creation uh, with people and we talk with people and the art for me is a tool mm -hmm. for for communicate, for participate with the people, for create something. Mm -hmm. It's a tool. It's a better tool than language, for example. We were in separate groups and we had to um, share our ideas. So everybody had to share the idea of what she, he or she has and we had to um, work as a democracy. Like, um, even though there is a true artist, we had a participant, Antonio, in our group, and he's a very uh, talented tattoo, tattooer mm -hmm. guy, and he, he's very brilliant in drawing, but he, he would like us to, to participate in the drawing stuff and, and, and uh, all the other uh, arty things. And, um, and uh, I think this is the community art first meaning, that um, everybody has to share their ideas, it doesn't matter that you are not a true artist or you don't have a relationship with art. And the second part is when uh, you, you're making something for the community as well. Like this uh, performance, what we did uh, in the in daytime, uh, we had to um, be very open to the pedestrians and to invite them to make something in community because, you know, the small kids, from the small kids to parents to older people were coming and um, the main focus was on this, to not only share the art with people who know things about art, just to share the, uh, this thing to everybody, mm -hmm. to all the people out there in the streets in, in every field. And I think if it would be on a place where everyone can see they would think this is something really nice. For me it would be like, oh, this is so cute, they were painting together and so colorful and, and I would feel that, that uh, life is beautiful. And I, I, would, I think they just will realize that art is not a thing they can't be participated in. Because I think most of the people feel, oh, art. Artists for the artists, and artists are just like mm -hmm. you know, making art and something. But no, it's not about it. It art is for everyone, and I think this is the main thing that this project is about. And I think we reach this.